we have just arrived here in Opet IDP camp and this is five days after the team got on the ground and already the foundation is in. We're already up to the second layer of bricks going in. It's absolutely amazing. This is what this kind of technology allows, that you can get on the ground. They're building with the soil right from this site. And, and it's drawing crowds of people. They've never seen this kind of thing before. So there's all kinds of people standing around in amazement watching. You are gonna see a resource center that's gonna have filter factory. It's gonna have a rocket stove factory. Jobs are coming to this area. I mean, it's exciting. As we pass through town, there's no work for anybody. And so this is part of the excitement of this thing is this is gonna bring life. People are gonna start working. They're gonna be building their houses. We've already been talking on site of people saying, I'm gonna build my house with this. And having a brick machine like this on site allows that. They'll be able to rent it, take it, and build their own house, start their life. I've been on the job two hours. I'm just learning, I'm a rookie. So just stand like this. That's all there is now. This is after a week. We've been on site now. Uh, the doors, windows are in today. Uh, this is gonna be the first Connect Africa Resource Center. Already the buzz is going, so we're already up to here. I think this is where uh, aid work needs to go. Uh, basically, you got a group of, of local people here, uh, and you have help with training and oversight, but the whole goal is to get uh, these people to where they're self-sufficient. And uh, I think too much in the aid world, we're so focused on on the West coming to the, the aid of these people, and and I think we, we lose the, the simple fact that these people are very capable. And, uh, and it's great to see that we just come behind and give them a little support. And, uh, and very soon, uh, not long, a couple years probably, they'd be, they could be self-sufficient making stoves, uh, making bricks, making bio sand filters. Yeah, you can see my guys are very busy <laughs> because we like it. We are like the, the job and we want this exercise to, do, to develop in this area so that all the community of this area should also develop and learn more about new technology in this area. And they are very happy. Maybe they have been coming here visiting, seeing the new machine, which they have not seen since they are, uh, the world was created. But they were amazed of, of the machine. And they said, this is a very good technology, what we have got in Africa. It was a huge uh, blessing to me to see that there's, there's other people out there that have the same mindset of humanitarian work, of where it needs to go, uh, instead of just massive organizations planting a flag in the ground and standing back and smiling and saying, look what I did. Uh, Connect Africa is going around supporting people and helping the people be able to say, look what we did as a people here. And it's just, it's amazing. It's great to be a part of it. We are getting ready with the students for, for the future training. They come from different camps. This here is a group from Amur. This is a group from Achiak. And this is a group from Parabek. This is a group from Opit. You are going to get first hand training. Alright? The training that we got. I know you'll never forget this moment in your life. And so we want to train your hands and get you working. It's time to quit sitting. Now's the time for the north to start to rebuild. Yeah. So you're seeing they're building using the soil from the north. We're not importing. <laughs> We're digging down, getting what's right here, the resources, and building using what we have. That I can turn it like this. I don't need a wrench. That's not a problem. Because remember, when we put it in the bowl, For those of you who have never been to a developing country before, how this works, right, is they're gonna take a rock like that, right, right, and they're gonna bust it up into these grades of material with a hammer. It's the media, it's the heart and soul of the filter. Often people say, well, we don't have crusher dust. You know, we don't have, you know, we can't get that. Well, if there's a rock, they can make it. <laughs> and it puts people to work, yeah. you know? How long is it? Uh, it it's 
assault, but it's easy to pick up. <laughs> We're just making clean water and uh, we're doing it with these bio sand filters, right? Today is the very first day that the Guru factory has gotten filters out. Uh, this is one of the first filters to be put out in a health center. We are here, they've been working for a bunch of days. They've made over 60 filters and now we've started the installation level. You have a test because it's clean water. It's already filtered. We now have no jumps into it. Connect Africa came up with a new design for a stove. Uh, we took a 45 gallon drum and we cut it in half, lined it with the new ISSB brick, bricks from our brick machine, and then it makes a very fuel efficient stove. Uh, one day's fuel lasts for seven days. So we have great um, demand for these here in the area because it's up to 25% of their budget is fuel, paying for firewood. They've cut down the trees for miles and miles around. And so this reduces the load, the fuel load on the environment out here. So we're training new people to make them. They'll be locally produced right here in the camp. about to wire it up. This is the first rocket stove that we've produced and we're going to be running tests on it today. So part of the idea of the Kark Centers is bringing new types of plants that aren't available in the north, that they're not familiar with, and medicinal plants as well, and that's what's happening. We're currently planting fruit trees around the property. Um, fruit trees that can obviously bear fruit, but also show people up here other things they can grow other than just vegetables. Um, hopefully the fruit will be able to support the centre, we'll be able to um, feed some of the delegates who are on any of the training courses. Um, these guys here are basically digging a big hole, putting some cow poo in it, and um, we're putting the fruit trees in and praying they grow. In Connect Africa we have, should I call it a department, which deals with uh, first aid, and a part of our team members have, have taken up that training, and they are, they are well versed with it. Now they are putting into practice what they learned in, uh, in, uh, in uh, concerning first aid training. So there is hope. The children, are, at least they have a smile right now mm. because they are, they are seeing at least somebody is, is taking care and he loves them. Mm. Yeah, that's what is happening.